Yes, people, it's your boyfriend Stones. Where you at, my 9 p.m. gang? You know we there. All I'm saying is, yeah, we are family. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight's episode was mad. If you're new to my channel, press subscribe, comment, share, like, dislike. Yeah. Tonight's episode was mad. I'm not even going to lie, yeah. Sean is still trying to play the field, trying to find out where Callum's head's at. She don't realise, like, he's not that into you. His head is between Jess's boobs at night, or whatever her name is, one of the twins. It's not with you. Have you not realised that yet? Just chill, relax. Boys are coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Boys are back in town. Sophie and Connor was in the garden talking to Naz, trying to give him some advice about this whole fudge, Shanice, whatever you want to call her. She is fudging up his life and his experience in Love Island. They're talking, trying to, trying to give him advice about... Maybe how to approach her, how to... Because he's saying he doesn't know where he stands with her. Yo, my G, that's a dead pheasant, fam. That's a dead bird. She's never been into him. Think about it. From day one, when he picked her, the first opportunity she got, she, she tried to get away. He dragged her back in the yard and locked her, tied her up in chains and all that. And she's been pissed ever since. Do you know what I'm saying? She don't want to be with him. How he can't read her body language is beyond me. It is so beyond me that's like i was in the gym earlier on today this guy was trying to talk to me but the way his armpit was smelling bro it smelled like a cough with garlic sauce and chili on it it was disgusting it smelled like hell i walked away from him i weren't making eye to eye contact with him and them things there but my point is yeah the only thing left for her to do is to go and shit in your pillowcase and like leave it for you to rest your head on and them things there there's nothing left for her to do to prove that she don't like you. This girl is not my favourite person in that at all. She's probably my least favourite. But Nas should have known from day one that she, she's not into him. She she called you Aladdin. Aladdin. She wanted you to scoot, scoot in your magic carpet and just cut. Like, ain't no one ever said, oh, I fancy Aladdin and Aladdin is my sexual this. And, listen, Aladdin is a joke thing. When a girl calls you Aladdin, like, that's a... That, she, she's X'd you out the zone. You're in the friend zone. Or you're in some sort of zone. Any zone that means you're not going to get the tang. Real talk. My advice to Naz is to move on. Leave this girl. Bitter witch. Just leave her. She looks like one of the Adam sisters and them things there. Leave her. Move on. Do like Mo Salah does. Play the field. Right now you're sitting on a subs bench. Mo Salah is best on the field. He likes to play his game and run around and dribble and do all that. You get me? You listen. You're his identical twin. you got to do like him. You know what I'm saying? Inshallah, Muhammad. Inshallah. Holly was in the garden talking to Paige. Talking about, oh, he prides himself on honesty and all this. And, like, he wants her to give him a chance and all this stuff. Like, this guy is a liar. All I've heard from Ollie's mouth is a liar. Paige ain't gonna give you no chance. She ain't gonna give you no chance. That's like, that's like giving a, a homeless man the keys to your house. Bro, he's gonna walk in, piss all over your wooden floor and probably start doing a moonwalk all over it. It's not going to happen because one, you're inexperienced. Two, you sat here and told me all you ever done was like ba basically treated your ex-girls like whatever because you cheated on them and all that. That's all you've ever displayed. And you think, what, after two, three days, I must give you a chance or your words. Shut up, man. Move, man. Go. And then seeing Leanne and Mike in bed in the morning. Oh, man, that was beautiful. That I don't know why, yeah, but that scene there reminded me of when um, um, Mufasa... Just lifted up his son to the... To, aye, that's a beautiful... You know, like... Aye. Like, Leanne even had a wig cap on in the morning. Like, unapologetically beautiful and black. Anyone who wants to diss Leanne, shut up. Talk to me. Uplock thing. You know what I'm saying? And Sophie and Connor are getting to a new level in their relationship because she was like... Oh, I don't know where I feel like this. <laughs> I feel like, man. <laughs> the way she talks miffs me. I don't understand what's going on in her mouth. What, like, it, come on. Is there a cashew stuck in there or something? Come on, man. Elaborate yourself. Open your mouth. But I think her and Connor are getting on well still. I think they're, they're in a good place. Like, Ollie left tonight, innit? Bro, they gave Ollie a nice little special on some David Attenborough thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then... He's telling everyone he misses his girlfriend. This guy is a liar. Pathological liar. You said you was in a toxic relationship with your girlfriend. You cheated on her. And what? You, what? And Paige made you realise you miss her. What I reckon is happening is, yeah, this guy has been told, he's, he's got a message, yeah, 
His dad told him, yo, they just booked some new hunting spree in a safari and he's bloodthirsty and he wants to go kill some animals. That's what I reckon he cut. Nah, but on the real store, they gave him too much time for someone who's only been in there for like three, four days. Sharif was in there for a couple weeks. All he done was done a fanny punt. And they could, they made me, listen, he disappeared without a trace like that program. We never saw Sharif again. His pepper grains, everything was gone. We never saw him again. That yellow shirt, thank God, we didn't see that again either. He was gone. And that was a guy that was in the, on there for a couple weeks. This animal hunter, yeah? This waste man, yeah? Couple days, you're getting, you're playing soft, sad songs. Bro, I wish someone would just fly in at that moment and just fly and kick him in his back. I wish Ollie the best in his hunting sprees, innit? If that's what he's gonna carry on doing. But next time he goes to shoot a wild animal, I hope his gun jams and he get all yammed up. That's all I'm saying. I'm not even wishing bad on him, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even wishing bad on him like that. But yeah, one of the twins is seeming to be playing a good game because they're attaching themselves with Naz. Do you know what I'm saying? Right tonight, I think I don't know if you know which one of them they are, but one of them, I think it was Jess, was talking to um Naz saying, do you know what? Like, she feels him. She wanted to know what the dynamics was between him and Shanice and all that stuff. And, like, she's letting him know, innit? Look, man's here, innit? Man's here, you know what I'm saying? I want to see what's going, in, what's going on between you and that girl over there. But man's here, innit? So, once they got that conversation out of the way, the twin went over to the girls and started talking and saying, you know what, I hope it's calm that I'm seeing, I, I'm going to, I might try a thing with Naz still. I just wanted to tell you because he said that he was getting mixed signals from you. Oh, God. That was when World War Three started. Oh, my God. Shanice was so mad. She wanted Aladdin to use that magic carpet. She wanted them free wishes from the genie. She just didn't want him there. You know what I'm saying? She was mad. She, was mad. she, she walked all the way over to him. Can I talk to you? And she laid into him like a hammock. She laid into him, real talk. She was proper frustrated, foaming up the mouth. Like you can tell, she's irritated by the sight of Naz. She does not like Naz. And in my opinion, I'm not dissing Naz, she has done nothing to signal, signify that she, she's into you. Shona went and spoke to Callum to try to see where she stands and what, what where his heart is and all this stuff like. But see Shona, she's playing a mad game. What are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously, she's like literally the female version of Naz. Because someone's not into you, blatantly not into you, but you're trying to make them into you. Like, it's not going to happen. Allow it. Allow it. you got a lot more time on the show. Other people are going to come in and that. Just let it be. Let it be. It's cringy watching this. A text came in to tell the girls there's some new boys coming in tomorrow. Oh my God, was they happy. They was happy. I think they think like the crop of boys in there are literally a pack of nonsense. Literally, like, they were so happy. Paige was doing, I don't know, she's doing the Millie Rock, she's done the dab, the gun lean, and she, she done all sorts, and I'm saying she might have even done the bogle and them things there, but she was happy. In the, in the, I've never seen so much teeth from Paige. Basically, when a text came in, yeah, saying the guys are coming in, Sophie was like, woo! And then she started singing that Skepta song. We need some more men in here. We need some more men in here. Too many. <laughs> it was actually funny. I think that's the most personality I've ever seen from Sophie for, for tonight, you know what I'm saying? But Connor was proper in his feeling on some Kiki thing, you know what I'm saying? Do you love me? Like, he was proper in his feelings. Like, he went over there like to say, nah, like, how can she be disrespecting me like this? All happy and stuff and... <laughs> but she was doing it just to wind him up and get a reaction from him. I think she's one of those kind of girls. She didn't mean it like that, but he's... We he literally wears his... He, 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 he puts everything out there. Bro, she, I'm telling you now, that has put her off him. Some girls, it might make them feel like, you know what, I like the fact that he really cares for me and all that. But it seems like that action has put her off him from tonight. I'm telling you. Like, too, too soft, man. Soft you, wet leaf you. You're too soft, man. Move, man. Bro, you need to go fix up. With the guys coming in tomorrow, yeah, Shauna's hoping that it might help her secure things with Callum. Idiot girl, I'm telling you. Like, girls that do stuff like this and just, just girls and guys, like, have self-respect. Self-respect. That's when people love you the most. When you really love yourself, someone will come along and love you even more. But when you don't love yourself, you're always looking for some someone else to fill that void that you don't feel about yourself. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's your boy Fred Stones. Let me know what you think of tonight's episode. Been a mad busy day.